How cells are organized into tissues and tissue intracellular junctions. The human body has over 200 different cell types. Each cell will either be specialized to carry out a specific function in the body or cells will join together to form a body tissue or organ. Stem cells have properties that allow them to become many different types of cells in the body. Hematopoietic stem cells become blood cells and cellular blood components. Mesenchymal stem cells can be found in multiple different body tissues such as bone, cartilage, and fat. Bone marrow contains many hematopoietic stem cells that repair and regenerate damaged tissues. Blood cells do not join together to form a tissue but compose human blood which is a liquid and flows through veins in the body. Without blood cells you would not be alive as blood is a necessary component to keep the heart pumping. Blood cells have space filled with fluid around them which is called intercellular space. Other cell types are packed close to each other like sardines in a can when they form tissues. They join to each other with intercellular junctions. Tissues in the human body are of four different types, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Remember, these tissues with their specific functions were created from the stem cells that specialized and differentiated. They then join together with intracellular junctions to form three-dimensional shapes. Connective tissue is the most abundant, and it holds organs in place and connects them together to form systems. Now let's explore the different types of intracellular junctions in tissues. Tight junctions are found in sheet-like tissues. They hold sheets of tissue together as the cells are fused to each other. Layers will form. You can find this type of junction in the tissues that line blood vessels and in the lining of the digestive tract. Another name for this type of junction is zonula occludens. Tight junctions are also found in epithelial tissue. They create a physical barrier and cell polarity. Adherence junctions or zonula adherens found in epithelial cells form a glue-like contact between the cells or between the cells and the extracellular matrix. Adherence junctions maintain the integrity of tissue structure. They also maintain tissue homeostasis and increase cellular communication and signaling conduction. Gap junctions are the most abundant junctions found in tissues throughout the body. They facilitate communication between cells. Changes in calcium levels and pH in the body cause gap junctions to open and close. This creates channels between cells that allow the passage of small molecules. No larger molecules will pass through. Desmosomes are junctions that weld skin cells to each other. They are also referred to as macula adherens. Desmosomes are found in cardiac cells with a slightly different composition. The root-looking filaments are keratin in epithelial cells and desmin in cardiac cells. These filaments extend into the cytoplasm from the desmosome. Proteins also link the cells together by extending between each cell in the extracellular space and joining them.